The last one took longer than usual, but all I got to say is see you on the other side. Let's go. Wow. You don't say. Finally. I was so wrapped by doubt about the usefulness of science, I nearly gave up. I was among the first to receive those photographs. <coughs> created a polymer substance capable of
Did you hear that? I hear everything you hear, Major. So, what do you think? Crispy critters. Quiet, damn it. There's something dangerous up ahead. And that's my fucking line. Indeed. But we still need to get that canister of pesticide polymer. Connected. Great. The birch tree's thawing out. Optimal temperature has been restored. Crucial research into crop protection is carried out. Many of the experiments. It was especially entertaining. <laughs> Shit! Are you off your nut? Is this some kind of joke? Any time. In two hours' time, when the pesticide reaches critical low, it'll wake up. Do you understand? I need a canister of pesticide polymer. There's a canister right there inside. You have to find a PA 400 polymer container. We blow the fucker to kingdom come, then you can take whatever you want, okay? Fine, have it your way. But won't the canister be destroyed? <sighs> Shit! The hemlock needs to be sprayed constantly. We're almost out of PA 400. You need to find that polymer container right now. Yeah, right, a container. Uh, could you at least tell me what it looks like? It's a yellow kind of, uh, kind of cylinder? Find that yellow cylinder or we're screwed. Where do I find that yellow cylinder? It's a polymer container, Major. They're always yellow. It shouldn't be hard to find.
staff members who received their notice are to report the social control by the end of the day. They need to report to be considered as a good tool. Let's blow that motherfucker up! Pesticide level decreased, now at 10%. Hey Charles, this sucks ass, doesn't it? As soon as the hemlock stops being sprayed with fertilizer, it will wake up. And it'll crush the living fuck out of everything here, including us. Log number two, April 19th. I've been studying the hemlock particles under a microscope. And the schnitzel. I've noticed that the slime mold genes have become dominant. Endocytosis has been shoot reduced. This, well, it explains how the plant feeds itself by grabbing food with its stems, for example. Just a sec. What? What are you eating this time? Schnitzel? Drop it. Bad dog. Anyway. Uh, later. <laughs> This is the yellow cylinder we're looking for? Are you shitting me? There should be a smaller one around here somewhere. Sure fucking hope so. There's nothing else here. Whatever. We'll just bring the whole goddamn tank back. It ought to be enough for that fucking freak show. Indeed.
remember that there are forms IDD2-1 and IDKFA2 before getting your annual physical and disability radio transfer. Suspended electromagnetic platforms, control panels all over the shop. <laughs> Some system they got here. What the fuck wide came up with all this shit?
attention. Remember that illicit possession and dissemination of the Why the hell would they make something like that? It was the unexpected result of a bold scientific experiment. You eggheads and your bold fucking experiments. Huh? <laughs> 
minutes spent at lunch is a minute stolen from the people. To hurry. Crispy critters. I'm trying. is critical. Where's that guy with the pump? Did he quit or something? I'm out of PA-400. If we don't figure out something soon, we're toast. Take it easy, pal. I found it. Look down there. There's your container. You got any idea what it took to get it here? Shit! Not like that. That won't kill it. You were supposed to blow it up. Damn it. What do we do now? It's awake. We gotta ignite the polymer. Give me your cigarette. You can ignite polymer with a cigarette? This one? Yeah. Die, you prick! Holy fuck, it's going ape shit! 
It's in range! We gotta run before it... Hang on! God damn it! The oh, fuck! My leg! You okay, buddy? Yeah, we did it! Shit, Sprouts, get the fuck up! My leg is stuck. Shoot it already! There's too many of them! Hurry! I'm trying! If they get to us, Have you we're dead! about aiming better? They're almost here! Get up! Get up! I'm trying! I'm trying! Fuck! Oh, no! Help me! Get it off me! Hang on, buddy. I'm coming! Oh, shit! The fucking canister. Well, it's something. He's mutated! No shit, Sherlock. Crispy crap! Get the fuck off me! Holy shit, that was insane. You guys seriously got nothing better to do in these labs than make giant killer shrubs? The path to scientific achievement is fraught with pitfalls. The only way to avoid making mistakes is to do nothing. Uh-huh. Just like me and Petrov. Fading data. Access granted. Authorization, Major...
Damn mouth. Charles, they didn't used to monkey around with the birch tree like this all the time, did they? Indeed. The birch tree is first and foremost a symbol, although it does require a certain amount of careful tending every two days. So every other day you gotta run around collecting four different canisters? Ugh, what a pain in the ass. Mr. 
connected. I hate all parasites, human or otherwise. At least the tree can breathe easy now. The pests have been eliminated, and the birch tree has returned to normal. We did it, Comrade Major. Slow your roll, Glove. I did it. I provided moral support. Yeah, whatever. I guess you helped a little. How are you feeling? That question doesn't really apply to me, but thank you for your concern. I am fine. Are we ready to leave now? Yeah, sure. I'm not exactly itching to stick around. Charles, how did Cheriton Zaharov die? Under mysterious circumstances. Dr. Sechenov is the only one who knows the details of his demise. Mysterious circumstances, huh? Dr. Sechenov really didn't tell anybody what happened? He did. The story is that Professor Zaharov slipped and fell into a lab bath full of a hazardous experimental neuropolymer. Oh, shit. Poor bastard. What's so mysterious about that? Some people are puzzled by certain aspects of the story. Like what? Due to a bizarre concatenation of circumstances, no footage of this fateful moment was ever recovered, even though the labs are always monitored. Well, shit happens, right? Sometimes cameras break, or data doesn't get recorded. That is entirely possible. Another peculiarity is that the polymer in question isn't hazardous at all. There's no way it could kill someone. You yourself love to swim in it. Oh, okay. But maybe that polymer was a unique experimental sample or something. Like, a dangerous strain. That is also entirely possible. But wouldn't Professor Zaharov have known that the experimental sample he was working with was dangerous? He created it himself, after all, along with Dr. Sechenov. This is seriously messed up. to go to Lesnaya Station and take the train to Solnitsnaya. We will continue on foot from there. And where are we supposed to find this station? It's on the other side of the village we're now in. Let's go.